What's going on guys? Um, welcome back to the channel. Just making a little update video. Um, some things that are concerning me. I'm doing just the back room or the basement. Right now I'll make a separate video on the front room because the front room is perfectly fine. Just some major updates on the back room. So right now we got the 125 set up with my boy Hank. If you haven't seen the video, I'll link it. The video of me adopting him. Um, he is awesome. He's at least like six to eight years old. I'm not quite sure. But his story is he um, he was brought to PetSmart and someone just left him there and he was in that, in like a 20, 10, like a 10 or 20 gallon tank for like, I don't know, like five days and I had a, save him. It was my girlfriend's idea to get him, so we both saved him, we rescued him, adopted him, free of charge, and now he's in the 125, but we'll get to the 125 in a second. Right now, not many people have seen the um, 20 long. There are five Starfire Tiger Barbs to match the gravel. I know there's no light on the tank, but these guys are so cool. If you'll focus. Ooh. Getting a little nippy. They are known as fin nippers. I might need to feed them a little bit more. But those guys are so cool. And then we got three Pictus catfish. No, don't swim away. Um, I love the Pictus. They're so cool. They're high in energy. They all like to chill in this little area when they're not swimming around when the lights are off but and then the biggest one just chills right there but um yeah so that's the 20 long has my lacrosse number in the back it's pretty funny but yeah that's one of my favorite tanks because my favorite color is red so I'll probably feed these guys before I go to bed and then the last updated tank is a 75 so everyone's doing great Perry is growing he's a he just ate, if you couldn't tell. Damn, that's a nice shot. He's a thick boy. Arowana. Getting bigger, slowly but surely. He still has a little bit of fin rot, or his fins are a little frayed, but he's still doing good. Personality hasn't changed. And then we got the clown knife. This thing is the alpha of the tank. Like, he takes no shit from no one, chases guys around to get the food. He's still hungry, but he's just been growing so quick. And then we got the feather fin who just chills until he knows no humans are in the room. And then he goes and finds that little pluck of wafer that I put in there for him. And then right here is the turquoise severum that I got from PetSmart. Um, I got him initially to cycle the 125. He did well in there and then I knew he wouldn't do good with uh, Hank who is a red devil. Um, so I put him in here and he's doing good. The nitrates did spike a little bit so tomorrow I'm going to do a 50% water change. But he is just, he's pretty. And he'll get 8 to 10 inches. So everyone in this tank will get to decent size. I could maybe fit one more fish in here before it gets overstocked. But right now it's the perfect balance. A nice shot. Alright, so like I said, oh, Perry's next to him. What's up, buddy? I'm just a little nervous from, um, so me and my girlfriend, we resealed the 125 when we got it, or after we got it. The silicone on the edges was coming off a little bit. So we looked at some videos, figured out how to seal it. We got the supplies, sealed it up, filled it up, left it 24 hours, did no leaks, no cracks, no nothing, perfectly fine. But now the tank's making weird noises. I don't know if it's just me or if it's the heaters, but it's freaking me out a little bit. I put some Gorilla Tape on it as if that's going to do much, but I just prepared everything. Like I put, I mean, 125 gallons of water is not going to be good on this carpet so 
Um, yeah, just wanted to express my concerns. Um, if anybody has any ideas, anything, I mean, like, take out some water, but then the water will be too low for the filter. It's, it's a lot of stuff. Also, Hank is a red devil, and he's been banging into the sides of the tank. So, damn, my arm's getting sore. I just came home from the gym. There we go. For those of you who don't know, I messed up my hand. Um, I'm getting a hard cast tomorrow because this thing is, this is what I got surgery. They wrapped me up with this friggin' club. Um, I need to look more at the lens, not at the friggin' myself. But anyways, so that's like kind of what I wanted to update you guys on. All the tanks, how it's going. 125, a little sketchy right now. It's a 20 year old tank, so I like resealed it. Like I said, with my girlfriend, uh, she, she did most of it because it was when I initially hurt my hand. So she did most of it. Huge shout out to her because this stuff, the, the silicone st stinks. It's so gross. I was going to make a video, but then I realized how hard it was. So, um, Damn, these tiger barbs are getting aggressive. I'm going to put more food in the tank. But I'm going to take some more footy of Hank and then I will end the video. So... Although aggressive, Hank is a little, uh, he's a little tired from um, feeding earlier today and he's hes super old so he doesn't want to expend that much energy. I'm just looking at him in the sh frame, look at him, he's so cute, he's the best. But yeah, so I adopted him, I plan on putting like a, co like a couple Oscars, maybe a Jack Dempsey and a, um, and then eventually Leo in the tank with him. Um, I think he's old enough where he won't be as aggressive as he would if he was uh, like say three or five years old. But I want to be better safe than sorry. So Leo's going to stay in the 20 for a little bit longer. I want to say about a month. Um, but he'll be fine. He's healthy. He's happy. Um, and yeah, so that's the update. And uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.